take a look at these two clips. Do you notice any difference? The obvious one is that they feature two different aircraft, Pakistan's JF-17 and India's Tejas. But the real difference lies in the engines. One of them is emitting thick nasty smoke, while the other, Tejas, powered by F-404 engines, burns clean. That tells you everything about the quality of the fighter jet's power plant, the most crucial part of any aircraft. For a fighter jet, visible smoke is a nightmare. It means incomplete fuel combustion, which wastes fuel, reduces range, and makes the exhaust gases hotter, increasing the aircraft's infrared signature. That makes it easier to lock onto with heat-seeking missiles. In close-range combat, a smoke trail is basically a giant arrow pointing at your jet. Pilots can use it to track you even if they lose visual contact for a few seconds. Modern air combat still values visual identification at close range, and before radar or IR sensors even pick it up, a smoke trail can reveal your position, altitude, and heading. For modern engines like the F-404 used in Tejas, the smokeless design isn't just about stealth. It's about better fuel-air mixing and more efficient combustion. Now, the JF-17 uses the Russian Klimov RD-93, a derivative of the RD-33 used in early MiG-29 fighter jets, adapted for the JF-17's airframe. But one of the biggest drawbacks of the RD-33 family was its tendency to produce visible black smoke, especially at certain power settings. India also operates MiG-29 fighters that use the same RD-33 series. The original ones came with the baseline RD-33 series 2 engines, known for their decent thrust, but also for smoky exhaust and limited service life. To address this, India signed an upgrade deal with Russia to modernize its MiG-29 fleet. The upgraded aircraft now use the RD-33 series 3 engines. In 2007, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited obtained a license to produce the RD-33 MK variant in India. The Indian Navy's carrier-borne MiG-29K fighters are equipped with these much-improved RD-33 MK engines. It has increased thrust to about 9,000 kg force with afterburner, service life of 4,000 hours, full authority digital engine control, a smokeless combustion chamber, and improved resistance to saltwater corrosion, which is essential for naval operations. On the other hand, the JF-17's RD-93, though modified for slightly better thrust and payload, retained several of the old RD-33 issues, such as lower reliability compared to the newer Series 3 or MK variants. Moreover, the increased thrust further reduced the engine's service life to just 2,200 hours, which is even lower than that of the base RD-33 engines. There have been reports claiming that Russia has agreed to provide Pakistan with upgraded RD-93 engines built to RD-33 MK standards. But let me tell you, Russia has categorically denied these reports. Russia strictly controls who gets access to its latest engine technology, and it views Pakistan as an unreliable partner geopolitically. Pakistan's frequent geopolitical flip-flops often irritate Moscow. Russia wants a stable, trustworthy partner, not one that constantly switches alliances, and most importantly, Russia cannot afford to upset India, one of its biggest and most consistent defense partners. Another factor to consider. Pakistan doesn't buy directly from Russia. It purchases through China, which handles integration, logistics, and markups. This means Pakistan ends up paying higher prices for older RD-93 engines, while still facing issues like smoky exhaust, shorter service life, and weaker performance. In contrast, India directly collaborates with Russia and even manufactures engines under license, allowing access to the newer RD-33 MK at negotiated rates. The RD-33 MK is an evolution, not a complete redesign. It retains the same core design as the original RD-33 but incorporates progressive upgrades. Think of it as upgrading your old car with modern components, while keeping the same engine block. Now, 
Pakistan calls its JF-17 Block 3 of 4.5 generation fighter jet because of its advanced avionics, new cockpit systems, and ESA radar. But one of the main criteria that truly defines a 4.5 generation fighter is its engine technology. And with so many issues in its power plant, calling the JF-17 a true 4.5 gen jet is misleading. Its engine belongs to the same generation as older aircraft like the MiG-21, MiG-29, or even early Chinese fighters. Essentially, the JF-17's engine is a 1970s design patched up to meet 2020's needs, while the newer generation technology remains out of reach.